Hello everyone, welcome to TechWeb Dots. Today I am going to discuss a very important point in graph data structure that is representation in memory. So let's start without wasting time. So as you can see in our start to end agenda, we are here. Today I am going to discuss the representation including how it looks like in terms of adjacency list and how it looks like with adjacency metrics. Okay, in our next session, I will show you the coding implementation, how we can create graph with node, edges, graphs, and with undirected and unweighted one. Okay, so let's move ahead for today's session. I strongly recommend you to watch the graph data structure, which is the previous session. There I have explained the basic concepts of graph and the application where we can use the graph data structure. Okay, so as you can see on the screen, this is a graph. It contains nodes, it contains vertices, it contains weights. Okay, I'm indicating here this is my weight, this is the edge, and this is my node. Okay, so let me give you a brief detail about the graph before moving. The best way is to explain through an example, but let me share very, very important points only. A graph is a data structure that contains a finite number of vertices or nodes and a finite number of edges. Okay, there will be finite number of nodes and finite number of edges connecting the vertices. In the diagram, you can see circle represent the vertices and the line represent the edges connecting those vertices. Okay, uses of graphs in real world like social networking, routing algorithm, mapping application, recommendation engine, and many more uses are there in real world. In directed graph, as you can see in the image, edges are directional. It means you can reach to vertex three from vertex one, but you cannot reach vertex one from vertex three. So that's why this is the limitation along with directed graph. Okay, there are two types of graph available. One is weighted one and another one is unweighted one. Weighted means we have some weight on the arc or you can say line or you can say edge. Okay, so you can consider like this is my one city, this is my another city. Okay, and the weight is called the distance between these two cities. In weighted graph, edges will have a value associated with it. So you can we can see the weight here edges in unweighted graph do not have any value associated it means in unweighted graph there will not be any value here the topic of graph representation will be covered namely using adjacency list and adjacency matrix and from this graph you can see there are vertices from 0 to 7 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 and 7 and there are edges 0 to 2, 2 to 5, 3 to 5, 1 to 3, 1 to 4, 4 to 5, and 6 to 7. Okay, now the basics again I have explained in very quick manner. Now, the important point is how adjacency list looks like if we are implementing the graph in C sharp. So all the edges are directional in the graph that I am going to use which will look like this. There is no weight but it is a directional graph. There are nodes, there are edges. Okay, so adjacency list can represent the graph in computer memory by writing a simple program the writing of coding piece i will discuss immediately the next part of this graph data structure but how that will look like so in the adjacency list we represent like this the node value 0 with neighbor 2 we can see here's a node here's its neighbor is 2 now check the one node value 1 with neighbor 3 and 4 here is my node 1 which is associated with 4 and 3. So we can see the value 1 with 3 and 4. Similarly, for 0 to 7, we have all the associated adjacent vertices. This is how we can transform this graph into computer memory. Don't worry, I will explain what data structure I have used to generate this in my next session. Now, the next point is how the adjacency matrix look like. Okay, so example will be same, unweighted, directed graph okay and now matrix will look like this so adjacency matrix looks like this okay here we have nodes 0 to 7 on horizontal and vertical okay and where there is an intersect we are saying cross it means for example if 0 is my city so from 0 to 0 so there is no distance between them and there is no path okay so we are at the same point but if we are moving 0 to 1 or 0 to 2 for example you can see there is a path from 0 to 2 so that's why I'm marking here one. You can mention the weight as well if we are using the weighted graph. So that can represent from city zero to city two. This is the distance for now. The code that I have written 
that is indicating where we have a path we are mentioning one where we do not have any path we are mentioning simple dots okay that's a very simple graph adjacency matrix representation i hope it is very much clear now how adjacency list look like and how adjacency matrix look like okay if you have any doubt any suggestion you can mention the comment box i will see you in the next video where i will explain by code how we can implement the graph its edges its weight and everything as we move ahead in this graph data structure course don't forget to provide your feedback that's the only inspiration for me to create such videos and don't forget to like and subscribe till then bye bye